Well, good morning. Uh, April 27th here on a Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. Can't keep my days straight. We battled that hydraulic pump yesterday. I'm gonna try to keep diagnosing it today. I sat down last night to eat supper and uh, I got busy at work. So I got called in and I went in and worked some overtime. Got home late last night, not terribly late. About one, one o'clock. Uh, and then uh, there was a house on the market that was kind of intriguing. So I spent the morning, I got up early and called around and talked to a few people and um, quite a few offers in it already. It only got listed yesterday, but I think a couple people had the inside scoop. It's with a different realtor company than mine is, so. Oh well, everything happens for a reason. Something better will pop up. I'm on my way out there uh, to keep working on that 8970 and then maybe some of the planner. And uh, we'll see if we can figure out what's wrong with that tractor. If it's, hopefully we can get that pressure tested today if it's the pump or if it's the supply pump in front or it could be something else. But we got good flow everywhere else, so I don't know. It's frustrating. So, uh, but that's part of farming. So, but first, I work eight of the next nine days starting on Monday. So I gotta, can't deal with the fro, so I gotta get a haircut because uh, I have really bad colics in my hair. So, off to a haircut. Nah, a little short. No, oh, well, it grows back, but I uh, gotta look professional. So, just about back out to the farm here, and um, I'm gonna get at it. Time to get back to business. terribly wild about being on camera didn't ask wow it moved up and down fast oh you have no idea how relieved I am to uh, have this thing off and opened up um, probably could work a little ground today but it's supposed to rain Monday Tuesday and it's Friday now already and it's kind of it'll be touch and go out there there's no sense to it. we're gonna pull off some of these ripper shanks that need to get some attention and not rebuilt and not be sure He had a gauge tester on the back. I'll speak up here in case it's too windy. Through that, he was able to tell that the gallons were there. It's just the pressure was not. And my concern was that there's a second supply pump up front that um, basically brings the oil up to the pump that we replaced. And I asked him if he basically if that pump could be out. Um, those pumps are right back up behind there. Won't really focus. But anyways. He's like, yep, not getting the flow. So he plugged in a, some sort of control thing. He's a prior John Deere mechanic for like 35 years, and now he does it on the side. Well, not the side. That is his full-time gig when he's retired here. Um, plugged in, and I revved it up to different revs, RPM, and uh, the, the, uh, the flow, the pressure was low. It wasn't sending it out. And what happens is he's explaining to us, and I'll try to explain it the best I can. But what happens is, you look right here and stand in the shed. Your brakes, your differential, and your steering have priority. Okay? And to like supply that was like 1900 PSI you need. It's supposed to be around 2500 or a little better. I don't know what the initial was, but he said it wasn't enough. So he turned it up checked it and that he goes go ahead and check it that mulch finisher popped off the ground I've never seen it move so fast so he just there's a little set screw on top of one of his stroke limiter or something he was calling it and uh, boom off it went so really happy about that I really can't show you where that is it's just down up right next to that pump but uh, we're gonna pull some shanks off yep this is more like it this thing is so responsive as it comes out of the ground now, it's unbelievable. But uh, it's working up decent, about the same as yesterday, not much has changed. It's really windy today, but uh, I still think it's pushing in our luck. Yeah, we got a lot of work to do to this thing still. Um, a couple guys out west of here, they posted on Facebook that they're going, they got a picture in their field cultivator out in the field, but yeah, they're out 
out in wetter country. That's, that ground's even generally wetter than this, and they got to be pushing it. But to each their own. Um, we'll take our time. It's supposed to rain Monday, and we just if the, with the overnight lows down in the 40s, you don't want to risk that seed shock of uh, the corn taking its first drink of water, you know, with germination right around. Um, when it's just a cold drink of water, it can do a lot of damage to your yield in the fall. So we'll play it cool and uh, just pull some shanks off here and bring them over to the shop, get them welded up, and put them back on since they don't make them anymore. We just gotta fix a few sleeves here, but uh, there's still water running through the cricks. We'll have to work some ground here and uh, do the buffers for those. And uh, to watch how fast this comes up here. Slow down here. Watch how fast this comes up. It has never come up that fast. So that pump definitely needs to be replaced. Still potentially that the seal is out. The other thing I was reading is the seal could potentially be out between the two pumps down in here. Um, it's something you can run with, but it'll still put oil in your transmission. It's an easier fix. That big pump that was switched out that needed to be switched out, uh, that's not an easy fix. That's like an eight hour job, not something you want to be doing in season. This other pump sounds like something we can deal with if we want to keep running, but it's something we can address in a rainy day if we need to, so. This thing is, uh, you know it's back there when those outer wings are folded out. But uh, I'll walk through the ground here for you guys here in a second, see what it does, and then uh, go from there, so. Thought about washing, but it's so windy today that I think I'd get soaked thought about just washing the 8120 off here, but maybe a different day. It's just so windy, it's unbelievable, the dust ripping through the yard. Thought I'd back it over here anyways. And spray on it and at least make the rims yellow and get the layer of mud off. We did that to this one. You can see there's still some stained mud there. We had the tractor turned completely this way, so it's hard to get in there to get that mud. Um, because we're going at the filters and whatnot on the opposite side. Um, we're about to, or he's about to weld on this. Uh, he just went to get some transport locks that might work to hold this up so it's safe to go under there. Um, I went along and X'd ones that needs bolts. I X'd them and outlined them in case we take them off to weld on them. And then uh, it's just where the, uh, like you can see for an example, this one's the worst one right here. You can see that the bolts pulled through. Well, they don't make this style of shank anymore, so we're gonna have to fix them up. And uh, this gusset got put in yesterday, uh, and then a few other spots just got a little welding. Um, then it'll get greased, gone through, check the tires, and uh, change out any shovels that are necessary. They need to be changed. There's a couple bad ones. These are all like knock-ons. You just take a hammer and you can whack them off, and then you get them started, and you just give them one whack, and they clip in. The front ones bolt on, and then, uh, so yeah, it's not too bad. It's just a kind of crawling under the round, and under there is kind of tricky. But you can see, like this one here is missing the whole one side of the wing. Um, generally, the ones that are like right behind the tractor tires, where there's the compaction from the heavy tractor, we see the most wear on. Um, the wing ones, maybe not so much. You'll see it on the wing ones if you don't. If you have an operator that doesn't pick up as they turn around all the way out of the ground you'll as they get thin you'll just twist the wings right off the shovels so um, just another little thing to keep an eye on but all in all it does a pretty darn good job uh, we got one spring to put on the uh, harrows back here it's, it broke and uh, we should be in good shape might even hook the rock picker up tonight we'll see how uh, ambitious we're feeling um, after we get all this done and uh, see what time it is Maybe we'll go at that next week. Don't know, but uh, all right. Oh yeah. I just got coated in mud. Got this looking decent. Pull both our trucks up in the tender up, rinse them off, and then kind of went at this side of the 8970. Yeah, so anyways. I got the inner coat, the 
in between the duels, but with all the scrub ones scrubbing, it's hard to get it all out of there. Um, I'm more concerned about getting everything functioning before we get everything really clean. It's nice to have stuff functional and uh, somewhat cleaned up. So I'd say it's about 85% clean. So, oh well. Um, Got to get stuff fixed up and maybe we can do a final bath. And wouldn't you know it, like every other time a person washes their car, a rain cloud appears. Man, the wind is crazy today. Now, well, since we were welding on it, we disconnected the battery so it wouldn't mess with the high electronics on the tractor. We got it reconnected here so I can move it. We also uh, remounted the um, radio antenna. It took a beating and uh, got ripped off, probably pulling in the shed. It just the spring's too stiff or something. I don't know what happened. Too many wax. So we re put it back up there and uh, probably come back tomorrow. So I just parked this out of the way so we can leave it. and go home for the night. It's probably close to 6 o'clock. Not quite the glare from pulling in here, but uh, we're getting it in here. And uh, off we are. That's it for the night. The phone's literally just going to die, so uh, yeah. Well, there we go. Truck's clean. He's going to work on the wiring on the tender. Something's funky with it. Usually we blow a fuse or two on the truck sometimes. That could be it. We didn't really even look into it at all. But uh, done for the day and uh we're all closed up we'll maybe go back at it tomorrow for a, just a little bit and see what we can get into and keep after it grease that thing up and uh put a few more bolts in and maybe change a few shovels and uh hook the rock picker up monday and tuesday they're calling for rain so maybe we'll work on the smart firmers then and uh after that it looks somewhat favorable so maybe we'll get planting by the later part of next week weekend well, they will. Maybe I will come out in the afternoon a little bit. I'll be the middle of my work week. But uh, all right, we will uh, talk to you guys more maybe tomorrow. I'll show you guys what we're up to. So thanks for watching. Have a good night and check you later.